Mm, uh, hello there. I'm just filming a, a small bunch of uh, uh, young European garden spiders here. They're uh, just more or less huggled together. Mm, though there is one. Mm, looks like it's going off on its own, I guess. Mm. It's just walking on a, a small piece of web. Mm. Oh, there's... Oh. Oh, there was one moving away from the others. But now it looks like it's going back. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and, uh, as I said earlier, these are young European garden spiders. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, young European garden spiders are mostly yellow or have ye yellow abdomens as you can see with a, a dark black or dark brown patch on the abdomens there as you can see as well hmm. sort of out of focus there a bit and as you can see I'm filming these ba baby spiders on one of my dustbins as you probably noticed. Hmm. Uh, that's usually a common place to find uh, newly hatched European garden spiders. Hmm. Uh, and these uh, well these spiders usually hatch in spring. Well only in spring rather. Hmm. Hmm. Well, their mother usually lays their eggs you, during the autumn in a, a waterproof cocoon and she stays with them for a few days and after that she slowly dies unfortunately. Hmm. Does sound pretty harsh but hmm, that's nature's way I guess. Hmm. And uh, after a few months the uh, the baby spiders hatch in the spring hmm. and after their first molt uh, that's when the the baby spiders usually start going their own separate ways finding well their own territory and then starting their own life out in the big world hmm, hmm. I oh, know not many people think that spiders are cute, but hmm, I actually think these baby European garden spiders are quite cute. Hmm, hmm they're nicely coloured and that. Hmm, that's why I find them rather cute, I guess. Hmm, alright, I'll leave these baby spiders alone now. Well, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.